Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Foriam and welcome to the channel. Today's Minecraft video will be about installing shaders. I will show you guys how to do this in a few quick and simple steps. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we are. This is the latest release currently, uh, 1.15.2. But for newer releases, I will update this video and the links so you guys will be able to follow this tutorial as well. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is download some files off the internet, which we're going to need for our shaders to work. So the first one is going to be Minecraft Forge. On the Minecraft Forge page, you will always see the latest version right there. So what we're going to do is download the installer. So click that one and the download will start after your advertisement. Also, make it a little bit easier for yourself and drag and drop your Minecraft Forge to the desktop next to your Minecraft launcher. And the second file we're going to need is Optifine. Optifine is required in order to make these shaders work. So also click the link in the description, then go to downloads and you will be able to see all the versions of Minecraft Optifine. If you don't see your current version, then go to preview versions. And for this current one, 1.15.2 is the one we're going to need. So press download and once again, drag and drop your preview Optifine file next to your launcher. Now we're gonna need two more files. The first one is going to be Optiforge. Search for the version that you will need and press download. There we go. And the last file we're gonna need is Mixin Bootstrap. Also make sure you take the right version. All right, so now we have four files on our desktop. The thing is we currently don't have any shaders downloaded. So I'm going to download a preview shader for you guys so I can show you exactly how it works. All right, so now we have five different files on our desktop, Forge, Optifine, Optiforge, Mix and Bootstrap and a shader of your choosing. I recommend you guys to go to Windows right now and type percent updata percent and you click the folder. Then you will be able to see point Minecraft right there. Just right click and create this one as a shortcut to your desktop. And we're gonna put this right under our Minecraft launcher because this is a folder that you're gonna need many times if you're installing mods or shaders. So it will be quite handy to have this in reach. Okay, so now we are ready to install our shaders. First thing we're gonna do is open up Minecraft Forge. Now you're gonna see a mod system installer. You're just gonna press okay. If your source folder is elsewhere, press this one first and select the right one. Okay, so it says successfully installed client profile for Forge version and then the right version. You press OK and then we're going to launch Minecraft. So right now you can see that the new Forge version is standing there instead of the latest release and this is correct. So we're going to press play. And there we go. So right now you can see the Forge version on the bottom left. Now we also have a mod section. You can find the Forge version right here, but this is enough for now. We're gonna press quit game. The next thing we're gonna do is quite simple. You're just gonna press your Minecraft shortcut and we're going to the mods folder. And this is the place where we're gonna drag and drop our three files inside. And that is pretty much it. And now we're gonna open up our Minecraft once again. You can double check the right version should be the Forge version right there and press play. All right, so there we go. Right now we have a new section on options. You go to video settings and there we will be able to find shaders. So this is the new folder where you can place your installed shader. So we're gonna press shaders folder and then we're gonna drag and drop our CU's renewed shaders right there. If you press the X button, everything is fine, you press done. We haven't selected the CU's shaders yet, but the thing is we're gonna have to adjust some settings before we do that. So we're gonna go to graphics and we put them on fast. Then also brightness, we put this all the way up to 100 or bright. 
and then we go to details put clouds on off and also your fog on off that is exactly what we need you can do with your render distance whatever you want to do but these are the most important things that you want to adjust then we go to video shaders and select our sieves renewed it's gonna take some time to load and there we go so guys as you can see the shaders are working perfectly fine uh, the water is looking gorgeous this is something that looks way better than the regular minecraft all right so guys this is how you install shaders on your newest minecraft version thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and got it worked and of course if you have suggestions for future videos don't hesitate to ask them in the comments down below so i'll see you guys very soon forium out